everyone. It's Candace Craw Goldman from quantumhealers.com. Today is April 15th, 2023, and it is Dolores Cannon's birthday. Had she lived, she would be 92 today. I have a father who's 92, but alas, she did not live to be 92. She passed in 2014, and that's about nine years ago. I really miss Dolores. At quantumhealers.com, we celebrate her birthday every year by doing something called Quantum Realms, and I'm going to address that at the end of this video. But I wanted to talk first about my renewed reflection about her work. I've been thinking a lot about the time, the many, many hours I spent with her in classes the things she would say, the things she wouldn't say, uh, the things she was private about. I watched her closely. There was so much more to that woman than sometimes met the eye. And there are some things that are occurring to me, even now, after all these years, even when she's been gone, that are new, or they're, they're deepening from what I knew and understood at the time when I was spending time with her when she was alive. First of all, I want to I want to talk about being very grateful for the fact that her work and her legacy continues and even thrives nine years later. I was not sure that it could or would. So I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for the continued success of quantumhealers.com. If Dolores Cannon was still alive, I don't think she'd be repeating herself, do you? <laughs> she just didn't do that. She worked so long, decades, and she learned and expanded her work, her vision, her understanding. She was always breaking new ground. Being inspired by that aspect of Dolores Cannon, a few of us at quantumhealers.com decided to get together and do something brand new. We played an audio recording of Dolores Cannon leading me into my past life regression session that I had with her in 2008. And a group of us, Will and Allison Brown, Donna McMurtry, her sister Diana Adair, and Iris Kristanovich, we all got together and we video recorded this. We settled ourselves into our recliners or our beds and we closed our eyes and we all gathered as a group to re-experience my personal past life regression with Dolores Cannon. It was amazing. <laughs> it truly was amazing. And more things are coming after the experience even than what happened that day. And we're gonna share portions of that in days to come. Um, but thank you all for showing up. And Iris had just been talking about how present Dolores was and saying, when I opened up my eyes and uh, turn on my phone, basically to see what time it was, uh, the first thing that popped up was a link from my brother-in-law, Mark. But he's never ever, done anything like that. And I clicked on the link and you probably all might have too. Actual video clip of her talking about uh, physical healing and, and the body. And so the gathered group here, we've decided to do something that as far as I know has never been done before. So we're going to break some new ground here, at least as far as I'm concerned. What we're going to do is we're going to play that audio of that regression. We're all going to sit back and go into uh, an altered state and join in and see what happens. Some of the discoveries and revelations were pretty sweet. And I look forward to sharing more from this project with you all in the coming days. I wanted to talk a little bit about Quantum Realms 2023. Again, we used to call it Worldwide Regression Day. Worldwide Regression Week, celebrating Dolores Cannon, and really all of us who do this work, and all of us who have been doing this work for humanity. But Quantum Realms 2023 really just 
couldn't happen this year because of a very big project we're doing at quantumhealers.com, moving us over to a brand new platform. We simply didn't have the manpower or the depth to to take on another project at the same time. All that being said though, we are starting a collective community project called Spiritual Street Smarts and it's starting today. Spiritual Street Smarts, we're asking our community, we're asking you, what is Spiritual Street Smarts? What does that mean to you? How important is it to be spiritually street smart these days? I happen to think it's really important. So look for the hashtag, look for the projects, look for the videos, the blogs, and the other things that will be created by the community and beyond. We invite you to participate and let us know your thoughts below in the comments. Thank you so much. Please find so many quantum healers of all different kinds at quantumhealers.com. And if you're a healer of any kind, please join us as a practitioner. We offer support in our community forums. We offer a worldwide directory and a brand new learning systems platform is coming on board here within days with any luck. All right. That's it for now. Take care.